Then House Speaker Paul Ryan says he will work hand in hand with the new Trump administration. Political reporter Jessica Arp asked Ryan about political divisions today in Janesville. Speaker Paul Ryan called Donald Trump's win in Wisconsin and nationwide an amazing political feat. He called for healing divisions while at the same time lauding that Republicans will control Congress and the executive branch. It's an enormous feat in that he heard those voices that were out there that other people weren't hearing and he just earned a mandate. President-elect Donald Trump won Wisconsin's 10 electoral votes Tuesday to now high praise from Ryan who called it an exciting time with great potential, borrowing a line used by Governor Scott Walker in his presidential campaign. And the opportunity is to go big, to go bold, and to get things done for the, for the people of this country. To that end, Ryan promised that Obamacare would be repealed and replaced and regulations rolled back. We asked Ryan about those who are not as enthusiastic about Trump's election. What do you say to voters in Wisconsin and nationwide who were concerned about some of the things that you were concerned about during this campaign? President-elect Trump's comments about women and yeah. Muslims and Latinos. What do you say to people who are concerned? I'll say to Wisconsinites what I said to Wisconsinites before the election. Look at these issues. Look at the potential for our country. Look at the direction we've been going. Look at the direction we need to go. And look at what a unified Republican government can get you. Look, I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that for the first time since 1984, Wisconsin's 10 electoral votes went to Republicans. This is an enormous feat. Ryan said today that he does intend to run again for speaker and downplayed concerns that some are looking to remove him from the chair come next January. In Janesville, Jessica Arp, WISC News 3. And so far, no other House Republican has launched a challenge to Ryan's speakership.